Um, in your, just a quick little recap for yesterday, in your project, um, as you start to add sources, remember that you want to include your annotations as well. So you should have at least two sentences. You don't have to have a number one and a number two like I did on mine, but you should have two sentences letting us know what the assignment is and then what the... Um, the, the main element of the article that you are using. If you want to go through and add a bunch of sources first and then go back and do the annotations, fine. But again, the one issue is sometimes people tend to forget about it. In theory, let's say that um, Katie adds, has her 50 sources at the end of the year. She doesn't have any annotations. She would lose half a point for each one, so it would be a 25 out of 50. So half point for the source, half point for the annotation. One other nice thing about having your sources into Noodle tools as you use them, when you go to your sources, you'll see, you know, it says media type uh, database, view live web page, I can just simply click on that link and it'll take me back to the article. So as opposed to searching through, hopefully, as we are resolving host, hey, there we are. Um, so as opposed to searching through, you know, all the databases that you were looking at before and things of that nature, it'll take you back to, to what you were looking at. So that's something that can be useful. Now, it looks like, did this one just take me to the Washington Post, maybe? All right, this one took me to the post. It didn't take me to the specific article. If you find a website, like you, there's an article on Time Magazine that you're looking at or whatever, it'll take you back there. Um, one nice thing about the databases that we have through North Hills, the citation is a breeze because you can simply do that quick cite, the copy-paste. I have no problem with you finding resources on your own. So going to a Newsweek, a Time Magazine, a Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, just know that they are not most likely going to have an MLA formatted citation. So you would have to enter in, you know, the author, the publication date, the title, and all those things. It's not that the databases are better necessarily. It's just that the citation ends up being a little bit easier. But if you want to, you know, locate things on your own, by all means, go ahead, be my guest. Um, rule of thumb would be make sure you have a title, make sure you have a publication date, make sure you have an author. Those three things tend to be okay. Um, and then at least, you know, you have some credibility going along with it. Remember, just because it's .org doesn't mean it's a better site or anything like that. Um, generally, the .gov would be the ones that probably have the most um, authority, validity, clout behind them. Good word. You used a good word in your Booker T. Washington analysis, Provocative too. Provocative diction? That was the word. I didn't even, well, I didn't even well, know. Well, no, no, there was, there was, there was a verb that he used, was like stabilize or something. I don't know. There was, it was just like, that's, that's nice. Might have been Depending stabilized. Um, all right. Yesterday, we did opposing viewpoints, the yin-yang. Underneath the yin-yang, there is historical newspapers. Not going there. But to the left of it is SIRS. I'm going to go there. Whoops. SIRS. The username for SIRS, if it's asking you to go, is PL2591H. I do think the password is LUPSWAG. Yeah. And then the password is L-U-P-S-O-A-G. What that? I feel like there's like a secret to that password. Oh, maybe. It doesn't work. Maybe it stands for something. Did you do PL instead? Of, sometimes people write P1, PL2591H. PL2591H. Remember, if you get stuck um, on Google Classroom, I do have that library database password, so you can click on that again, and that'll open up that Google Doc. See, this is, would be like you watching the notes again and being like, what the heck were they doing for those 10 minutes as people are trying to log yeah. in? Um, very much like uh, the way that um, opposing viewpoints, and there's definitely some overlap between the two, uh, but they'll take a look at trending pro con leading issues. So they have their main thing that they show up here. You see a view all issues here in the top right, and then they also have all issues with an A through Z list so that you can simply scroll through. So depending upon what, um, which of the topics you wanted to take a look at, and you know, with like for example the the plastic bags thing that we're looking at you might be able to make some connections to climate change or, or uh, 
elements with environment that might take place so far as, you know, just what is happening within the environment. College environment is new. Um, maybe there's something there with college is worth the cost. I would say, um, I think you were asking, Jen, about political correctness. What do we mean by political correctness? For college is worth the cost, I would say consider that as a four-year institution. Um, so that we would be focusing on four-year institutions worth the cost. Now, part of your argument could be that if you supplement a four-year institution with, like, CCAC for the, for the first couple semesters, that could help make college worth the cost. But we're assuming we're talking about a, um, a diploma coming from a four-year school, not just simply like a nursing program or Pittsburgh Art Institute, which is closing. That is. Where, what's the service password? Or username? L-U-P. S O A G P L two five nine one H nine one H no love swag love swag um, in SIRS just like listen up in SIRS just like you have with um. Uh, opposing viewpoints as you click on an article and they'll give you some various viewpoints as we're taking a look at what's going on here uh, college environment is going to be looking at censorship and, and things like that quite a bit I am just going to click on a, stu a thing an article um, they also will have an MLA formatted citation for you um, where usually is down here at the bottom you see citations Ooh, citation unavailable Thank you. That was an awkward moment. Let's see what we got here. Let's go to site. No. Well, that's a bummer. We have all the information we need. Let's check another article. See, if that's just something common that we have here on search. Did I get what? Oh, I didn't look. We will. Were you here when I called out on me? Yeah. Yeah. Because you used me. Yep. Yeah, I did it this morning. Not unav unavailable. Well, calling out SIRS. It just gets, keeps getting more and more awkward. Yeah. Well, all you would have to do is you still have authors, you still have article, you still know exactly where it's coming from here, Wall Street Journal, you have your publication date. So it looks like at this point SIRS, no wonder, no, that's not going to work. Um, so SIRS, you would have to kind of manually enter some information, but SIRS does a nice job of setting up those sub-arguments, um, viewpoints that would be pretty good to take a look at, all right? Um, the other two that I wanted to uh, show to you um, are going to be International Debate Association and then Procon.org. International Debate Association, Procon.org, treat them like Wikipedia. You're not going to cite anything directly coming from iDebate. You're not going to um, cite anything directly that's coming from Procon.org, but it gives you the ability to at least kind of accumulate some information.